Hi everybody, this is Akamas2 and I'm back again with another movie review. I recently got to see The Judge starring Robert Duvall, um, Robert Duvall, Robert Downey Jr., and I think it was Tommy Lee, not Tommy Lee Jones, but, oh, who's that other guy? He's, he's in rock and roll. Anyway, he, he played the, um, the opposite prosecutor. I think he was a uh, defense counsel, but um, <clears throat> maybe he was the other. He was the other, not not defense, but but the other. What is the other one called? Ah, I've been to court before. I should know this. I'm so sorry. I mean, I've I've had a rough day, folks. Uh, when I was in the the cinema, the, the guy that we brought along with us, they they put him on a bunch of heavy medication because of his newly discovered diverticulitis uh, and it made him sleep through the whole damn film. Excuse my French, but it just really irritated me because I thought this is not what you should do. You, you don't, it's rude. It, it's just not done. It, it's not very proper Emily Post. That said, I'm going to interview the movie now. Excuse me. Anyway, this movie takes place in a small town in Indiana, of which I felt very happy to hear. I thought, yay, they're finally doing a film in Indiana. <laughs> Thank God. They, they did that with uh, TF, T-I-F-I-O-S, uh, <laughs> The Fault in Our Stars. Yeah, I'm sometimes better with some acronyms than I am with others, but moving on. This movie takes place in a small town, and you've got Robert Downey Jr. playing this prosecutor <coughs> attorney, and <coughs> he gets back in touch with his dad through some sets of circumstances I'm not going to get into right away. It's uh, there are lots there's lots of symbolism and allegory and metaphors that are. Uh, used quite a bit and it's very thick in that and there are a lot of object lessons that happen in this film and there's another character who plays a, a defendant that um, Robert Duvall's character asks to defend him in his case because there's something that happens to to him because he's a judge and he's just part of this county uh, courtroom and he's he's um, Ruled over, he's proceeded over a lot of legal, uh, a lot of court cases, and the the county has a lot of respect for him. Till this um, horrible incident occurs, and I'm not going to say what it is, but I think this movie is in a position for an Oscar. I sincerely do because the acting is nothing short of magnificent. It is an astronomically good film. If you like Robert Duvall and Robert Downey Jr. and um, the guy who plays the opposite, um, so, oh, what? What's his name? I'm so sorry. I just the day is really worn on me. Uh, anyway, it's it's really quite good, and uh, the guy who plays. Uh, the other defendant. He he's more of a cameo than anything else, but he was also in this is this is where I leave you, in which he also played another cameo, which I thought, hmm, yeah, he's been in two good movies this year. Whoa, that's quite impressive. That usually doesn't happen. Usually you just get one big hit and you know off you go. Another good thing I really liked about this film was the soundtrack is really quite moving. And I, I may have to look into getting it. Um, <clears throat> it's just a film about redemption, family dysfunctionality, uh, precociousness in young children. <laughs> Especially in Robert Downey Jr.'s uh, young daughter. <laughs> she seems to know quite a bit more for her tender age. And he actually says that in the film. She knows too much. And it's really interesting just to see how the characters interact and react to each other. It shows the dynamic between brothers and birth order and small towns, uh, just like, you know, the one I live in. And 
Uh, I don't really call my small town home because I was born in Bloomington. I can consider Bloomington my home. Maybe, I don't know if that makes me snoot, but Bloomington is my home. But anyway, uh, I live in a small town, so I understand what is happening on a very <laughs> microcosmal level here. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows everybody's business, and you can't say anything in a corner because if you do, granted, everybody and their brother's gonna know about it. So you gotta know when to zip the zip. And that's the thing about this. Uh, this movie is very moving, and it's just really a, a beautiful telling story. It uh, it kind of leaves it up in the air, but well, it does. It doesn't really leave it up in the air. I don't think. Um, well, some questions, yeah, it does, but you're you're left to your own conclusions, and I, I made them. I thought, yeah, this is probably what occurs. I'm not going to say what, but I don't know if anybody else has seen it, if they have any uh, going theories on that. But this is the type of movie that um, is outstanding. My I didn't have any um, qualms or problems with it. It, just, it flowed from one scene to another and the storytelling was done in such a way that it really made me empathize for these characters and it made me root for uh, Robert's character even though he was a massive jerk. I mean he was the best of both worlds. He was a dichotomy in and of itself and even it even speaks to that in the film and it's very 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 interesting very intriguing. Um, I don't really have that much else to say about The Judge other than it's a amazing film. It is magnificent, marvelous, fantastic, tremendous, every single solitary. <laughs> positive ad adjective I can come up with. I give it two thumbs way up. Five stars, hands down. No contesting there. Um, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about updates, um, I'm writing some new stories at this point in time. Uh, I haven't really done too much with the script I'm working on. I've been doing a lot of catch up with shows. Uh, recently they found a mass in my dad's back and, uh, <laughs> they're going to have to discuss when they're going to do exploratory surgery on him as I don't think there really is any other option and now it makes sense why he's having the chronic pain as he does and it's just it's really difficult for him and I I don't mind looking after him he's he's my best friend but uh the only thing that kind of concerns me is uh being alone <laughs> And I know I'm not going to be alone alone, particularly, but it still scares me quite a bit. And I, I know it's not going to always be like this. I know that there, for every, for every woman there is a man somewhere, at least, I don't know who said that. That's a very blanket statement. Uh, <laughs> not everybody is meant for that particular part of life. That's what some people told me. Maybe it's supposed to be this way and etc. Yada, yada, yada. But I think that, you know, the, the, the lucid dreams I've had have really given me a lot of clarity in that aspect. And I think it'll happen. Just not in my timing. But I just have to be patient. Patience isn't one of my virtues. <laughs> um, but everything will be fine. I've been drawing some stuff. Uh, my latest drawing was of my, uh, most recent character, Homestuck Related. She doesn't really have a, a sign. She's got a different sign from all the other trolls, and she has cerulean blood, so she's, she's a higher cast of troll. Um, she's very interesting. She's, uh, she's a water type. Uh, she's kind of like in the same uh, category as Aridin Feffery. And she's got a thing for Aridin. Uh, I don't know if Aridin would ever give in to her advances. Probably not because he still loves Feff, of course. Why Why would he ever break that? I mean, I know I wouldn't. <laughs> um, 
But, yeah, I'm going to put this up. I know it's a little early. But, I'm uh, actually going to zoom in a little bit here. Uh, she's dressed up like a skeleton. I think she got into Carlos's <laughs> closet. <laughs> Carlos will not be happy with that. But, uh, <laughs> it's basically for uh, El Dia de los Muertos, which is one of my favorite holidays of all time, even though I'm not Latin American. Play my Spanish class for that. But I'll be drawing some more stuff in the future. I've just been keeping myself busy. Uh, they keep me from uh, thinking about everything that's been going on with my dad. And, of course, you heard about what I said about our border. We, we took him to the film today. And he, he slept through most of it. And I had to keep poking him in the side. And um, dad was there with me to hold my hand. And I cried. I mean, I. It, it was a sad film. Granted, and I got overwhelmed a lot of a lot of the time seeing it, and it, there was good reason. I won't tell you why because it'll be a huge spoiler alert and a plot disruption of epic proportions. But I'm not going to do that because I'm too nice. But uh, he just kept falling asleep. I kept nudging him in the in the rib cage to wake him up, and he's on all these medications. And then, you know, later on when we, we were doing our study, our Bible study for the day, he fell asleep during that. I don't like not being acknowledged, so it just made me really angry. And I just stormed out of the room. I said, you know, screw it. And, you know, I don't usually swear, but I got really upset. And I said, you know, I'm going to go take the dog for a walk because I am about to lose my shit. So I walked out the door. <laughs> I thought that was a totally unladylike thing for me to say, but it had to be said. And I took the dog for a walk. I exercised, got myself to sweat. All was well with the world. So I was perfectly fine. I did not raise my voice once. I did not stop my foot or, you know, break anything. Because uh, when, I, when I get got mad in the past I, I broke a cup and there was a time in the past a couple of weeks ago where I, I got upset at work and you know I got told I was being very unprofessional but I was just having a bad day and you know well that's in the past I mean I shouldn't be bringing that up it's just stupid but things have gotten a little bit better <laughs> but uh, we are still short staffed and I'm still looking for a better job but pretty much that's what I've been doing, and I don't. I know you don't want to listen to any of that, but that that's my update right right now. That's all I have to say. See ya.